This video comes to you from Gongai Games, your source for Star Wars Destiny singles, sealed product, and tons of other great games. Check them out at gongai.com. Use discount code COMMANDO10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. Hello everyone and welcome to the final from today's standard tournament at Gongai Games in Portland, Oregon, USA. On our left we have Andrew, he's playing Tarkin Snoke on his Parker Simpson alt art cards. And on the right we have Bautista, he's playing Watt Tambor and Single Palp with Lightsaber Mastery. Alright, so Andrew will be favored. Yep. He, however, we will be playing on likely Bautista's Salt Flats. Yep, Andrew will put the two shields on Tarkin to start, enabling the Snoke power action damage soak, and Bautista will get us started. So we do know that uh, under his lightsaber mastery is deflecting slash and fatal blow because we've seen him previously play those. So Watt rolls in with a two focus and one focus. Andrew comes in with a money and a blank on Tarkin. Okay, so we see Sinister Peace. We do see the Force Storm. All right, Watt, or sorry, not Watt. Palpatine comes in with a two melee. Right, so there's the Snoke power action. Takes a shield off, dealing a damage, and he'll gain $3, bringing him to 5, resolving the Tarkin dollar for plus 2 as per Snoke's power action. Is the Batista going to focus to money and money? Yep, that is what he's going to do. He wants to get the bad boy down. All right, Andrew will bring in the Mega Blasters. And right, there's the 2 money, takes him to 4. Okay, Megas come in with a two gun, a one gun, and a blank. So Andrew's already threatening seven damage right here. All right, there's a four storm for four. Leaves Batista without control, though. All right, Andrew will force jump. Interestingly enough, though, four storm does not have a blank. Uh, however, it does provide an extra die for the Tarkin power action. Goes back to Batista here. All right, so he'll power action in four storm, gets a two discard. All right, Snoke comes in with a two focus, a one focus, and a blank. Batista. Does have his best well, he can't pay for best defense, but he does have Sinister Peace in his hand, we see. So that may be an option to remove that two focus there. We also see the Sora Sue, and we see also see a sniper team. I a huge fan of sniper team. Alright, he'll take the two discard. Get Sinister Peace and Bubble Shield. So Andrew will shoot. He hits for two only. Does not resolve the one gun. It's because the Mega Blasters does have the three indirect. It's likely what he's saving it for here. All right, so power action. Uh, Batista power action is to turn the Snoke to a blank. Does Andrew pitch to reroll here? I guess he can focus to two focus. Right, so yep, he'll take out the two little ones and deal four indirect as per the Tarkin power action. All right, it goes all onto Watt. Batista's action here. So I think Andrew's going to focus to double focus. Yep, so Batista passes. Batista, or Andrew will focus to double focus and he'll go to the two indirect and the three indirect. Batista certainly sinister pieces here. Yep, get rid of the three. Gets rid of the sniper's team and gets rid of the three. And then two more indirect coming right back at him. All right, puts it on Watt. So Watt's now at six. Palpatine's at two with plus one, so nine health remaining. 
All right, so we're done. We'll go on to the next round. Andrew drops electromagnetic pulse um, as just a discard before drawing. So he'll draw five. Batista keeps his best defense, which makes sense. Also keeps his uh, Sora suit mastery. He also just drew a Sora suit training as well as another sinister piece. All right, and he'll get us started. Rolls in Watt, it looks like. Oh, gets the money. All right, Tarkin will come in with a blank and a two indirect. That money is going to be good for him. He can get his Sorosu training down. Or his mastery, I suppose. All right, Megas comes in with the two extra dice. There's a two disrupt, a two gun, a blank. That two disrupt's looking real good right now. Also, we see a back to therapy in his hand. Not a lot of good right now, but can explode very quickly. All right, so page three for Sorosu, and that also removes a die when it comes in. Okay, so he's actually going to remove the Tarkin indirect. All right, Snoke will come in with a third die, so a two focus, a two indirect, and a shield. Okay, so Batista thinking it over. So the Sinister Piece can take out either one of those, well, I guess there are multiple twos on the board, but all right, so he's, he'll pay one for his Deflecting Slash, so he'll remove a die showing damage, it's actually, sorry, it's range or indirect, and then bring in Palpatine. So it, oh, there's a Sorosu Special, Sorosu Special removes a die showing damage and gives a character one shield, and then there's the two melee for Palp. All right, so measure for measure to get rid of the Force Storm. Palpatine does still have his power action. So Sorosu, oh, it looked like he was going for Sorosu. I think that's what he's going to do is resolve Sorosu to get rid of the two indirect. Yep, and then give a shield to, oh, it gives it to Watt. So Andrew has not taken any damage yet. All right, sniper team for two. Back to Batista. All right, there's one net to Tarkin, taking the two with the shield. Back to Andrew. All right, rolls in his sniper team, gets a two gun. All right, there's the power action on Palpatine. Does he reroll in the Force Storm or the Sorosu? Actually, it's the question. I could see the argument for rolling in the. I know the obvious answer is the Storm, but I could see the argument for rolling in Sorosu to help protect with some damage. And that's actually what he's going to do. Oh, but he gets the two focus. Right, so Andrew resolve his Snoke two focus. Goes to you know blank and the three indirects. The reason he went to the blank is so he can Tarkin power action. So we'll Sinister Peace again, I'm sure, here, and get rid of the three. Yep, Sinister Peace, and which will, will he, he discard Sorcery Training, okay. Get rid of the three. All right, and there's Tarkin Power Action for four indirect. So there's one. Two, two more. All right. All 
All right. All right, going to the next round, each have $2. So Andrew had claimed there. All right, Tarkin in for focus and a money. That could let him, that board state could get away real quick. All right, we do see a force jump on Batista's side. That's so what he'll do, drops a force jump. So Palpatine's now at 13 total. All right, Megas comes in. There's a two disrupt, a one gun, and a one money. All right, here comes Palpatine. We get a two melee, a three gun, a one shield, and a two shield. Tarkin will come in, or sorry, Snoke will come in with a blank. An indir two indirect and a two focus. Okay, so it takes three shields, all of which will go on to Palpatine for sure here. No, no, puts two on Watt, two on Watt, and one on Palpatine. All right, there's a route, so Andrew has enough to remove two dice. So route removes one die for every three die in your pool. So almost just a time walk there on Batista. He does still have his power action and, of course, Watt. All right, Watt will come in with a, oh, $2, or two $1. Let's see how Andrew strings this together for damage. Right, so he's going to Snoke, deal one damage, take three dollars putting him at four does he have another megas all right we see a hidden motive a fatal blow that backed us still and the best defense I'm sure he'll just take the dollar here or the two two dollars here on what all right power actions in for Storm with the two discard. All right, Andrew drops the Imperial Officer. Remember when the Imperial Officer activates, you can turn a trooper die to any side. All right, there's a pitch to re-roll. Oh, he just re, re oh he wants to focus, I see. Alright, there's four indirect. Imperial Officer comes in, does have a focus, and he'll flip to the three indirect on the Mega Blaster die. Batista's action here. He's got the motive. All right, so he's going to focus to the special. All right, Andrew just routed it. Could have actually routed the Watt die. Not sure why he didn't route the Watt die. He had enough for both. So, all right, there's three indirect. All right, takes the shields. Back to Bautista. Is he going to suicide Watt here? I see him playing with that best defense. He's got the motive too. He's thinking it over here. Yeah, because if he pays for best defense and he can't back to, back is only worth three, but if it'll keep you alive. Right, so Batista just passed, so Andrew will deal two indirect. Okay, one apiece. 
trading up on Palpatine, puts him at six. So again, Palpatine has four natural health plus three, so he has seven health remaining. And then there's two on Watt, so Andrew needs to do nine. The Tarkin power action has not yet been used. Andrew also has salt flats, which can flip a leader die. Right, I'm going to roll in the sniper team for a two. That's a dead watt right there. All right, yeah, motive for guns, which seems pretty good on that die. All right, gets it removed. Back to Batista, or no, sorry, Andrew, conscript for one. All right, but another pass, rolls it in, gets a one gun. All right, pays one. Oh, there's the best defense. So he'll probably remove the two focus, I would guess here. Does he remove the two focus and the one focus? I think you have to remove, yeah, the, the two focus for sure. And then I think you remove Tarkin's die as well because it can become a two focus from the Imperial officer. Still thinking. Okay, so here's the conscript showing damage. Okay. So Andrew needs seven. Showing one. All right, so we'll focus into the two. I think he's realizing he just, yeah, he can't power, the snow power action's already been used. I think he was thinking that was going to be a four. All right, so there's a discard to re-roll. Leaves the blank out there, gets a two for one, which he cannot pay for. And then, um, so at this point, they haven't moved battlefields, but Batista has claimed, and that's why Andrew can't use the salt flats to flip the trooper to a blank to deal that final four. So I think Andrew's got this in hand. Batista hasn't been able to get his force storm up, so he's really in a damage debt here. But he will get first strike. He has $3. So he does have Palp's lightsaber, which he can play for free. Which he'll do. So he pays two, but then gains two back. So Tarkin comes in. All right, there's the two discards. So Batista has to either remove that or pretty much lose. So he does have the ability to re-roll it. Okay, so that's what he's going to do. And he gets a one focus. All right, so Andrew rolls in the Megas. Yeah, so showing lethal. And we, we can see Batista does not have anything to do. All right, so that'll do it. So Andrew takes the tournament today. Nicely played, gentlemen. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. The alternate art cards featured in today's game were supplied by Parker Simpson Artwork. This talented artist brings a touch of street art to his pop culture themed creations. The creations come to life as alternate art fan cards, gaming playmats, and as posters. Now also introducing the Thank the Maker subscription bundles. To check out all he has to offer and to purchase directly from the artist, visit parkersimpsonartwork.com. Use coupon code STA2019 for a free Sound the Alarm Porg alt art when you buy five Destiny alt art cards. As always, shipping is free on orders over $50 US.